Hey, yay! yay! Okay. Collab review. A collab review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's my thing. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, no donations going on right now. Um, big shout out to Cubs uh, for finding this LinkedIn. Uh, but I wanted to weigh in on this because I think we have a different take on it because we've met this guy and we just from our and a couple times. Yeah. Before we get into this video, I was gonna say this is like just our gut feeling based on visiting their offices and conversations we had with people, but we're definitely not like insiders or in the know or even kind of get, but this is a big deal. And I think it's a big deal for different reasons. Uh, but basically John Solera uh, left EA, which baffles me. It really does. Like in December of 2019, to go to uh, Blizzard and after working for Electronic Arts for 17 years and five months. And uh, I think there was this connotation, which I don't agree with, that that uh, this is reason why the game is going bad. And I, I have yeah. a different take on this altogether. I just wanna say, are you tired of your fluffy cartoonish looking game? Uh-huh. Are you tired when your guildmates called heroes tunes? Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's right, you have my permission to smack them anytime they call a character or a hero a tune. Not every RPG game must be cartoony and cutesy. Enough with the candy. Rainbows, unicards, and bright colors get real, raw, dark, and epic, and awesome. Raid Shadow Legends will take the world of dark fantasy and realism. Let's go ahead and open up some shards. The thing in this game is that no matter if you get a good one or a bad one, they're still useful. If they're a good one, you can level them up and use them. If they're bad ones, you can sacrifice them in order to level up your good champions. And, 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 and. And, and, and it's running towards me and it's good what are we gonna get what are we get and it's running towards me and what do we get what do we get and it's good and 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 it's good and it's and it and it and it's and it's good i have no idea what i'm doing and now you can play raid shadow legends on your mobile and desktop and now the daily login rewards program for new players has been doubled from 90 to 180 days each day you can claim your free rewards from energy refills silver and gems and shards and a free barbarian legendary character skill of the drake so what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and you will get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and a free awesome champion, the Executioner. This package will only be available for the next 30 days. I guess I'm gonna say what the, we're, we're gonna try to drive out. I don't think this matters at all to the game or the people that play the game. Is, is that what we're trying to say in this video pretty much? I think that's what the, we're trying to get at. Yeah, so one, we're going to summarize what Cubs' video was kind of talking about here. But I think, one, he didn't give this guy enough credit in terms of how important he is. I think he gave too much credit for him leaving for Blizzard in terms of the impact on Galaxy of Heroes. Because Galaxy of Heroes is a ship that's just been kind of sailing itself for like the past two years. And he's been pretty hands off, it seems like. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have the same experience. Uh, start with back in 2016 about what we know about John Solera. Yeah, so first time we met him was uh, San Francisco EA Game Changers University. We saw the AAT raid. They showed us some other stuff that they were working on, which eventually came to the game. Uh, we saw him in December 2016 with Zetas and Ships. And then we saw him again, I think for the last time physically, uh, EA, uh, EA Play 2017, where we saw Thrawn. We had a little like private one-on-one uh, -on -one whatever group meeting. And yep. then after that, it was just voices. We heard all oh, voices about him, murmurs, but we never actually saw him physically anymore. It seemed like he was going beyond Galaxy of Heroes at that point. Okay, yeah, so let's just put it what it is. This guy created Galaxy of Heroes, a billion dollar mm -hmm. game. He's the brainchild. That's he's the what brainchild. he's been referred to from what I've been heard, yeah. Yeah, so uh, first of all, this is a, we Galaxy of Heroes is a billion, billion dollar game and just compare that to Oh, the other EA games, you know, uh, Battlefront 2 and Jedi Fallen Order Fallen didn't make Order. that much money. Or Battlefront 2 did it. <laughs> even movies. Solo, Han Solo's story, did not do as well financially as Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So that's kind of a big deal. Would you say it's a big deal? I don't remember how much money Han Solo made, but maybe it's... I remember Han Solo wasn't a big financial success, but yeah, that's the case. This guy is a big deal. In the mobile gaming arena, I think that's uh, the, that's where credit Cubs didn't give him enough credit. He is big in the mobile gaming world, and he is the father. He literally created Galaxy Heroes. That's how important he is. He wasn't just another carry, wasn't another Mark Dickerson. This no. guy 
was a big deal. And I think a lot of people in the mobile game industry want a piece of him so he can bring a billion dollar game to perhaps Blizzard as we're seeing now. Okay. And that's and that's where we're going to go. After uh, EA Play 2017, we didn't see him anymore. And I assume, what, did, what were your thoughts? Like that he moved on, He like he was so important that he had to create a second Galaxy of Heroes, right? Is that the feeling you got? Like he was like that big of a deal. Yeah, so I, real quick, I just want to put this out here. Hansel apparently grossed $392 million. So that's just to put your numbers in the perspective of uh, right there. But yeah, it seemed like once Galaxy Heroes was sailing, like after the first years, like he was there at the start of it, getting it launched. He was there for the first years, making sure everything's kind of flowing smoothly. But eventually, once you got a successful game that's making money and then it's got people on the ship and it's just kind of sailing, he was able to be pulled away for other projects. And my speculation is that he may have started the next project. EA's like, cool, you got a good game that's making money. Let's do that again for another game here at EA. So I'm thinking maybe he was the starter brainchild for the game that Capital Games is currently working on because it seems like the timeline meets up. He stops Galaxy Heroes around 2017, it seems, full-time. He starts working on another project, and maybe that's what Capital Games is working on, and it seems like they're kind of going in full production now, as we'll see if the job listings in a moment here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's exactly what because we were there for um, with the SIF thing, right? SIF three, uh, 2018. SIF, I was the and last they're like, time. And there was like, I remember saying to somebody, hey, where's John? You know, like, I remember asking, where's John? Because this was like a big event. And he's like, well, um, he's here sometimes. He's here at Redwood Shores sometimes, you know. And I was like, oh, OK. You know, he wasn't there. Like, yeah. I, like, like in an was, office, though, they did a tour for the new people like here. Here's John's office. But, you know, he's not here. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it was like an open area space. So, like it wasn't like an enclosed office. They didn't really have enclosed offices right. there. It's all open area. Like everybody can well, just walk now around. It's a different studio. But back then. Yeah. 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 So uh, that was at the old building. So, yeah, I, I just got the feeling that he was building a new game. And that was what he was uh, known for. And, and they wanted him to build another billion dollar game. And so. Uh, I just assumed that this guy was going to be at Electronic Yarts for the rest of his life Yarts? and Yarts and uh, collect Yarts? royalties off Galaxy of Heroes or whatever. Like this guy was a big deal. Like this really kind of is like, whoa, what happened? What I mean, this is like a I'm guessing that this was a big, big deal, right? Oh, yeah. As I as we kind of preface, he created one of the, the biggest mobile games of all time. It makes a lot of money and he looks like he was working on another project. For him, and he plays, he's been working at EA for a long time. If you look at all the games he's been a part of, he's, he has a long history over at EA. So I, I I really would like to know, again, there's not a big impact on Galaxy Heroes that he left, but the fact that he left is a big move in terms of the industry at large. Like, how much money did this guy pay? Uh, how much money did Blizzard pay this guy to move yeah. on over, especially with that amount of loyalty for yeah. EA that long? Yeah, and so I don't have any idea with this unannounced mobile project at Blizzard Entertainment. Uh, I know that I went out to BlizzCon in uh, late October, uh, but that was about Diablo Immortals, which is still not launched. And um, I don't know what this is. I don't know. You know, I, at first I thought, well, maybe this has something to do with that, but I don't think it does. I, I think it might be something bigger or new. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm hopeful it's something big, you know, new game, of course, but I think Diablo it, galaxy of immortals. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, but the, the idea is, is that I don't think this affects, um, us, the players at all, like none in terms of galaxies. I think yeah. this, if, if my speculation is correct, that he started the other game that capital games is working on, maybe there's an impact there because the game hasn't launched yet. And yeah. unlike galaxy of heroes, uh, so, uh, in terms of galaxy of heroes, though, his departure has no effect on Galaxy Heroes, I think, or at least very minimal, because Mark Dickerson or Carrie back then, they're the ones that kind of carried the day-to-day operations and kind of made the new ideas going forward. And uh, so I think Galaxy Heroes is going to be fine. I don't think uh, him leaving is going to spell the end for this game. Yeah, and so these are the the Capital Games' uh, latest job openings. Now, keep in mind... Is that a picture of their new studio? I've never seen it before. Yeah, we... we oh, it is, actually. got the pool table. Yeah, we haven't yeah. been... Because they, they basically doubled in size, right? They, they it, yes. It's big. Uh, the it's a big new, place. new studio that they went to. Now, uh, the latest job openings are not just for Galaxy of Heroes. This is for both games. And there's an an unknown game that they're working on. They haven't said anything about it. But when I click on these links, uh, you know, I can see that this is not for Galaxy of Heroes. It doesn't even say what it's for. And then this is a job listing from last year. And then down here, we've got another one. 
Uh, doesn't say the game name, job listing from last year. Seem your game designer. Uh, it's going to be the same thing. Does not say the game name, job listing from last year. My internet doesn't work. I guess I got to pay my bills. Uh, there we go. Senior game designer. <laughs> Come now, on, people. Donate. Yeah, home. I know, right? Um, I need to do everything. Uh, but some of this is, you know, for uh, like right here. It says technical director, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Like it's like very specific when it's for Galaxy of Heroes. I, so I just don't buy into this idea that there was this Max Exodus. Everybody got fired because of the bad artwork on Ray uh, or something like that. What do you What do you think? I mean, I just got a different take on this. I just thought it's like, ah, oh, this is like business as usual. There's two games and, uh, you know, they, they're hiring for another game. And, you know, this guy left, but he was he was kind of already doing other stuff anyways, right? That's what it seemed like. I'm, I'm very sad to hear you didn't appreciate the art in Galaxy of Heroes, man. Four months for those ultimate animations. You should be shaking right now with that statement you made. Oh, God, dude. So I, oh, my God. So I was on Twitch. I mean, you, 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 know, you know where I'm going with this, right? Yeah, I was like, dude, I was on Twitch. And everyone was like, dude, did you see the animations for Kylo and, and Ray? And the Twitch and I was streaming Marvel Strike Force, of course. And I, I have to go back and look at the clip. I know it got clipped because people are like, oh, man. It, it was just like. That well, that's it. Okay, I don't know what I was expecting, but <laughs> I, I oh I, I don't I don't know what I was expecting at all. Like I, I I guess in Marvel Strike Force, like even like the boring characters have like unique Easter egg animations, like fatalities. Yeah. They, certain things that happen sometimes they like they'll do like unique animations when there's like another character. Like if the two characters are together, like if Deadpool yes. and Cable are on the same team, they have a different animation. If Iron Man, Captain America. Yeah, all these weird things. And even like really obscure characters like Namor have like really cool ultimate abilities like that took 10 times the amount of work as Kylo's animation. I hate to say it. It's just like, well, I don't know. I yeah, only 100 percent. Yeah. I, I People think, are starting to realize that Galaxy Heroes Arts is a bit subpar compared to other stuff out there. At least they're taking notes yeah, that they're yeah, starting, yeah, yeah. but there's a lot of room for improvement. No, I know, but I was like, that's it? You know, and so, like, I, yeah. I think it's cool that there's animations on this. Like, I, I don't have a problem with that, but, like, I've seen this in Marvel Strike Force for two years now. Like, stuff twice as good. Uh, like, when Phoenix does her thing and she comes out in Dark Phoenix and blows up the board, it's scary. It is scary looking. You know what I mean? And it's really cool. Yeah. And uh, has, like, triple the impact of Kylo dropping his mask on the ground. I don't really understand that. And but going anyways, on the catwalk. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's just it's like, oh, I don't know what's going on here. But anyways... Um, uh, yeah, so to answer your question, though, I, 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 that's the same exact impression I get. I mean, that first position, the one from July, I remember making a video on that position when they had a lot of openings up. They just have, they're working on two games. It looks like they're ramping up production. There's a couple of Galaxy of Heroes things, it seems like, which is cool. If you're hiring right. people for Galaxy of Heroes, it means they're still supporting the game, which that gives me the opposite feeling that the game is going to peril. I, I don't think any of these job listings have any... Uh, or much interaction or correlation oh, with the uh, success of Galactic Legends. I would love to hear that Galactic Legends was a total failure and and, and they're embarrassed and they fired the they're art not people. Say that. But that's not. I don't think that's what happened. I think it's uh, you know. I, I, can we get something other than packs and characters? My God, I, I just this has been like the, <sighs> the worst. The red ahead was originally posted in March, I know. and it's not March oh, anymore. Oh my God! Just something, please, 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 anything. My goodness. Anyways, we're gonna. We're gonna wrap up the video there, uh, and uh, what, what, what are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now? Oh, the oh, it's, it's the Thank giveaway. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I really hope you like this video today because if you did, you are in luck. For every single person that likes Woo. this video, you will be getting four free in your account. Four free. Not in a your account. not a seven star, but an eight star. Fully wrecked out of their mind, Baby Yoda Tiger King Edition. Boy, this is an exclusive skin. Um, you haven't watched this show yet. Ah, oh, my goodness. I, I, all the, I, I see all the memes everywhere. It makes no sense to me. I, it's on my to-do list. Um, yeah. Ah, boy. If you have Netflix, watch this show, man. You will be forever changed. It is the most insane thing I've ever watched in my life. I can't believe it's even real. It's almost capital like- capital games talk right there, man. I don't think somebody <laughs> could, you know, they say what, uh, truth is stranger than fiction. That explanation mm -hmm. point, my goodness. Like, I just can't believe 
the lifestyle of these people and what they did oh it's mind blown anyways um this is very confusing though i guess it's just memes of 2020 baby yoda spliced in with tiger king i don't understand what maybe they have the to do philosophers with of tomorrow will be able to interpret these memes of today because my intellect is just not yes. big enough to comprehend this, well, this. It was, it, i've watched i've been fully invested in tiger king and this is this this picture is just outright confusing to me and it's like i don't know <laughs> what this is supposed to be but uh we're gonna do it all right, guys, um, now that wraps up today's video. Leave a like if you got something out of it. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming. Bye. And my brothers, don't forget. Oh, Thank you.